Hey everyone, welcome to my first impressions of Diablo 4. So if you played, if you knew about this weekend for Diablo 4 was the early access, if you didn't get a chance to play, you will have a chance to play in the open beta coming this weekend, the 20, March 24th. That being said, expect queues, expect delays. There's always issues with, with betas. So if you're trying to take off Friday and you want to play, you're going to be in a queue more or less likely. So probably ignore probably try to avoid friday wait until the afternoon or evening to try to play uh in that case and if you get into the queue and you dc you will be put back into a queue just my heads up that being said here's my opinion on diablo 4 should you play diablo 4 should you expect anything different from Diablo 3 and uh, and what is Diab diablo's genre right that being said diablo is fun to play Diablo 4 is fun to play I enjoyed it for the time I played over the early access I highly recommend anybody looking for an action RPG that is simpler than Path of Exile but is a Diablo franchise that lets you that's not Lost Ark Diablo 4 hits the ball and all that right it gives a simplicity of what Diablo is it gives Lost Ark's design into Diablo and it brought back, you know, it has some pieces from Diablo 3, like the prestige system and some of the skill system. Uh, no, not the it's, it's skill system, though, but the skill tree system is a little bit there is completely different than Diablo 3. Uh, but the the design is like a D2, right? It has that darky, gritty style. So it really hit, it, to me, it hit home, right? When I jumped into Diablo 4, I really felt like, ooh, I'm playing Diablo 2 upgraded. That went away as I played the game longer and longer. Sadly, I was hoping that that feeling would stay, but it didn't. It kind of dwindled as time went on. That didn't say I didn't enjoy the game. I just really wanted the feel that I was playing Diablo 2, but upgraded. Didn't get that. It's all right, though. I played the Rogue class. I did get level 25. I was able to mix and match a whole bunch of builds. Ricochet was the, probably the strongest build right now with Piercing Arrow and Shadow, which you can like, explode all the monsters. Uh, but I decided to go with, there was a, I got this buff, right, this item, and it was able to reset your Shadow Step every time for when you blink something. Uh, and you, I was able to pretty much perma blink, you know, to mount some multiple monsters. And every time I killed them, they would explode and kill everything around them. So I kept resetting the skill over and over and over. It was kind of funny, uh, but I enjoyed playing dagger skills more than I enjoyed playing the bow skills. I just had more fun doing that. I felt like it was more of a challenge than playing the range. And I felt like the range and the bow, like whole setup, was very slow. When I play like. Uh, when I was, when, if I think of like an archer, right, I feel like I need to be shooting fast and being nimble and moving. But every time I shot the bow with my normal attack and anything like that, I really felt like I was just super, super slow. I did not have fun playing the bow with the with the bow skills. I just didn't have an, I just didn't enjoy it. And anytime I was like getting into it, I was like, oh, out of energy, oh, out of energy, oh, out of energy. There's ways to get energy back. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't enjoy it right now being such an early. Uh, early level right only level up to level 25 the game had a lot of uh, bits and pieces right so I'm running 32 gigs of RAM I have a 2080 super TI you know I'm running uh, an i7 on my piece on the processor overclocked to 4.5 you know things like that I'm running pretty a pretty decent setup and even on with the max graphics and everything I was it was eating up like 16 gigs of my RAM I was still having issues with loading stuff and there was times where the game would just overload on RAM. I was like, I think there's one point where the game crashed at 20 gigs of RAM. I'm like, time to reduce this. Like, I reduced the textures down to medium to do 8 gigs versus 16 gigs. And even once I did that and, and reduced the graphic, the uh, the shadowing down, it actually improved the quality of the game by a lot. It just sucked because I really wanted to have it on full detail with those textures for cinematic and everything like that. But even on medium, I still had a good time playing the game and watching the cinematics. All the voice act, everything's voice act. Uh, there's everything's voiced over. There is every everything is so you, you don't have to read everything. And I really felt like the voice acting in the game was really superb. I loved it. I think it was a. I, th I think they did a great job on that. I think they did a great job on the music. I enjoyed the combat. I enjoyed the boss fighting. Um, I don't like events. Those little mini events around the world that they have. They're all the same. They're all repetitive. Right, repetitive. Um, they all give you the same loot. I just don't like them. I feel like they just take away. Like, there's no immersion with 
events like that not in my opinion right if you're going to do events do it the way path of exile has done it and introduce a new core concept into the game and don't make them like these boring repetitive events like that we have right now um hopefully that change i'm hoping they, they take a you know feedback from what path of exile has done in each core package that they brought out that they introduce that instead i think that would be a better setup now going into diablo 4 a little bit more it's an mmo rpg so it's an it's an rpg yes but you cannot play offline there's no offline mode it's an mmo there's guilds or clans however you want to call it there's world bosses there's world events there's no single player mode It's online completely online so those are looking for like the repeat of diablo 1 and diablo 2 and having that ability to create your own server and play by yourself doesn't exist uh they are introducing they have similar concepts of areas being pvp oriented only meaning they have high risk high reward so there's going to be sections that are going to be completely pvp focused and if you if you go to those areas you will run into people to fight or not to fight it's up to you um we'll see how that plays out i'm not sure you know we don't i don't know until i play it myself so hopefully that will come down the line i'm looking forward to the pvp i'm hoping they balance around the pvp uh enough to where it's not uh you know not ignored completely because in you know one of the things that i did as a great kid growing up in d2 was i would just log in and just go into a server and pvp people and everybody had fun pvping nobody really in you know no one got mad at pvping it was just like okay let's go pvp and everybody would just jump in and start fighting and trying different builds and rotate characters if you're gonna play your amazon you're gonna play your paladin you know find different builds that were fun i'm hoping we can do the same thing in diablo 4 because now being completely online and and in mmo focus i'm hoping we get like an arena style i'm hoping that the open world pvp for guild versus guild comes into play i'm hoping we have some clan oriented events in the game as well uh, we didn't have them right now. I don't think we're going to have them in open beta. I think those open beta and early access don't have anything really related to the guild stuff. Now, I did see they have a voice chat in the, in, in the, in the system. And what that allows you to do is if you join a party, you have a voice chat for your party. And if you join a clan, you have a voice chat for the clan. And here it's push a talk or open mic. Uh, that can, you know, you can just mute it, right? You don't have to join the, the voice chat. But it actually brings a, a funny point to me is that it's nice to be able to go into a game and not have to load up Discord or something else to talk to somebody. If you needed to do a quick dungeon run or something like that, you can just hop in and you can actually just send a global message out through through the voice right and or just put it in your party chat um there's no global chat system that i could find you know guild could talk to everybody uh there's local but i couldn't there was no ability to actually shout uh, i'm not sure what their concept of that is yet but well that's going to be interesting i didn't get a chance to look into trading uh, i did see that most of the time, I think 99% of the time, I didn't get any other item drops than rogue items, which in my opinion is like a downside because if they want to promote any type of trading, there's nothing to trade. There's no items to trade particularly because I'm only ever getting rogue items. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I really want mix and mixing stuff. Like if, I, if you're gonna drop stuff, I want loot to drop for every class and you know I'll go pick it up. That being said, the game had great points. I recommend trying the game out, right? It's all back down to what you want to do and how you want to play in action RPG style games. If you're looking for a Lost Ark style game, a simpler Path of Exile game or a Diablo game, this Diablo 4 might be for you. Try it out this open this weekend on open beta. Uh, try out any class; they're all fun. Sorcerer is pretty pretty overpowered, um, in my opinion. Rogue is up there. I think the rogue is pretty strong, uh, just because of what their abilities are. But everybody loved playing the barbarian as well. So I mean, if you're a barbarian player, whirlwind's there. <laughs> Go have fun, right? So it's pick and choose what you want to do, how you want to feel in 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 Diablo Four is up to you. In my opinion, I had a blast playing it. I did not feel like I was playing Diablo 3. I love the cinematics. I love the storytelling. I think the game has lots of potential, and I'm looking forward to playing the game on release in June. If you are looking forward to it, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And like always, keep gaming and stay positive.